I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is Baby Oliver's long-awaited nursery makeover. I'm so excited to finally have this big project done. I'm officially 35 weeks as of today, and I can now start focusing on things like packing our hospital bags and washing his tiny baby clothes and then all of the other fun nesting tasks that come with it. But if this is your first time stopping by my channel today, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Lauren, and I'm a fifth grade teacher here in Arkansas. I'm expecting my first baby in about a month and I love making videos about cleaning and decorating and all things homemaking. So if those are things that you might be interested in too, definitely hit that subscribe button before you go today. I would love to have you. And if you enjoyed today's makeover, give it a thumbs up. But let's go ahead and get started with this nursery. I had to start out this makeover by painting all of our walls and baseboards white. We had a weird gray color on the walls and then a kind of funky cream color on the baseboards so I had to take care of all of that first to give us a good base to start with and I knew I wanted an accent wall with some wainscoting so I had my husband measure, cut, and install those boards for me and then I just painted them a really pretty blue color to match the wallpaper that's going to go above and I decided to go with a blue and white gingham wallpaper from Spoonflower and this wallpaper is amazing and such high quality. It sticks on so easy and if you need to adjust it, it pulls right up. So I'm gonna have their website linked below just in case you're interested in some peel and stick wallpaper. But I was kind of going for a classic baby nursery look with a wild twist. I wanted a pop of something unexpected. So I decided to add pops of black and white cow print throughout and I love baby farm animals, so I went ahead and tied it in by using some baby farm animal sheets from Kate and Lane, and I am seriously obsessed with them. They are so cute and so soft, and they really helped tie in the wild cow print. Once we got our accent wall complete, it was time to vacuum up our mess and bring in the furniture. And I just purchased his little white crib from Amazon. I believe it's the Graco brand. So I'll link that below just in case you want to check it out. And then I wanted to add some small pops of red here and there throughout the room to make it feel really playful for a little boy. And so I purchased this little red Oliver sign from Etsy and I think it added the cutest touch. And I love the way that this little accent wall turned out. But I do want to pause real quick and let y'all know that today's video is in collab with my friend Marie from Georgia. So I'm going to let her introduce herself real quick. Hey y'all, my name is Marie. I'm a stay-at-home mom from Georgia of three kids currently pregnant with baby number four due in the fall 2021. We're so excited to welcome our newest addition to our family. I hope that you guys will head over to my channel and check out some cleaning motivation, mom life motivation, decorating ideas. I love cleaning, decorating, organizing my home. Whenever you finish this beautiful mama's video today, I would love it if you would head on over and check out my content. And if you like it, then I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family. I'm a part of an amazing mama community where we're always helping each other out in the comments. So I would love it if you guys would head on over and check out my video today. I hope to see y'all soon. Marie also uploaded a portion of her nursery makeover today, so make sure to head over to her channel and check that out when you're done here. 
She makes really fun and relatable mom life content and I know you will love her. But now I'm just adding a cute faux green plant from at home to a little white basket that I also found at home to add a pop of natural over here in this corner. In order to tone down all of the colors going on in here, I did want to keep his bed ruffle just a basic white, and I'm actually going to do the same for his curtains. They're just a basic white with a little ruffle at the bottom, and also with his rocking chair. I wanted just everything to be really calm and cozy, other than the few statement pieces. And I've actually had these crib sheets since the moment I found out he was a boy. I went onto Caden Lane's website and ordered these sheets because they are so stinking cute and they're also really, really soft. And so I ordered one for his bed and then also one for his changing table. And it has the little black and white cows, which I love, and then little tractors and sheep and barns. And I think it ties in perfectly with the theme of his room. I don't know if there's anybody else out there who have had a rough time finding a white dresser that isn't a nightmare to assemble, but we had the worst time with this. I actually ordered one from Amazon to start out with and it was horrible. It took hours to assemble and it still wouldn't work when we got it all done and we had to send it back. But this one we ended up with was so much easier and honestly just such a relief when it came time to assemble it. It was still a little bit time consuming, but it worked a lot better than the other one, so we're happy with it. And it's the Delta brand, just from Target, I think, and it will be linked below for you just in case you're on the search for a good basic white dresser. But for the top of that, I just added another farm sheet to his little changing pad and a cute red wooden stool from Hobby Lobby with a little plant on it. And then how stinking cute are those farm diapers? I actually shared those in a past video, but I love those. They're just so little and cute. And then I'm going to be sharing a huge nursery organization video coming very soon. So for right now, all of those drawers are just empty. And then I found this mirror at Hobby Lobby and thought it added the perfect touch above that dresser. And I figured when we're done changing his diaper, we can stand him up right there and he can look in the mirror. And that'll just be fun for having right there above his dresser. And as for a rocking chair, I wanted one with the wooden vintage legs on it, and I wanted a more toned down cream color to kind of add in some warmth with all of the stark white furniture in here. So I purchased the Lily Rocker from Target, and I'm super happy with how cute it is, but I will say it's super comfy, but doesn't sit the best for nursing. So I will update y'all when the baby gets here, if it works out for us, but it sits kind of high up and then my feet don't really touch the ground very good. And then also everybody says it's really important to have something to lean your head back on and my head actually falls off the back of it. So probably not the greatest for a nursery, but it is really cute.
And I added this little red pillow here to add another little pop of red, but I ended up not liking that so much, so I'm gonna switch it out for a cream pillow here in just a little bit and keep it a little bit more toned down. And then I just picked up this little gold lamp from Target, and I love how simple and sleek it is over here in the corner. And I think it'll be perfect for at night when we need to come in here and change a diaper or something, and we don't wanna turn all of the lights on, we can just flick that switch and it adds a little bit of light. This little plush cow is another thing that I've had my eye on ever since I found out I was having a little boy. I think it's so cute and cozy looking. And my little brother actually picked that up for Oliver. So thank you, Asa. We love that little cow. And then I ordered this cow rug from Wayfair.com and I love it. It's super soft and cozy and it's a five foot round rug. So I'll have that linked down below too. And I think it added such a fun pop in here. Right here, I'm just adding some little white hooks to our curtains. I just picked these curtains up off of Amazon. They're white with some ruffles on the bottom, and it was actually only like 30 or 35 bucks for two panels, which is an amazing deal, and they're good quality. They're not, they're just light filtering. They're not blackout curtains, but they are so pretty. And then I just picked up that little white wood rustic curtain rod from Walmart. still have a few more things that I'd like to add in here. I want to hang some shelves and then my sister bought him a little cow rocker that's going to sit over there in the corner by his crib. But for now, I'm so excited about the way that everything turned out. I think it's such a cozy and playful space for baby Oliver. And now I just can't wait for him to get here. But thank y'all so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see y'all in next week's video. Bye!